uh, examples of alloy that you need to know. A lot of students they may ask, okay, uh, do you need to memorize this? Do you need to memorize this? Uh, the answer is yes. Okay, you need to memorize this. Now, what do you need to memorize? For example, sir, uh, cupro nickels. What do you need to memorize? You need to memorize its components. Okay, its component. You don't need to memorize the percentage. Okay, you don't need to tell that this is 75%, 25%. No, you don't need to tell the percentage, but you need to know the component. You need to know that cupro nickels, uh, there is coppers and nickels atoms inside. Brass, there is a copper and zinc. You must memorize that, okay? Because the exam, they might ask you which of the following metals uh, are present in brass, okay? Uh, then you need to know that it's a copper and zinc. So you must memorize that. That's the very first thing. Second, okay, you need to uh, memorize the applications, the uses of this uh, alloy, uh, the uses of this alloy. And to help you to remember this, you need to know the characteristics of this alloy. For example, copper-based alloy, eh? shiny surface. Okay. Of course, they, they are harder. Okay. All alloys are harder, but uh, for copper-based alloy, they are shiny. So if they are shiny, they can uh, they, they, they use to make uh, decorative items, metals, artwork, pot, pans, okay? uh, musical instruments, bell, nail, screw. Okay. So all of this, uh, we, we use it to make this thing is because it has a shiny surface, shiny surface. Uh. For iron-based alloy, they are very hard, okay? very strong, to very hard. So therefore, it's used to build a vehicle, ship, bridges, building, okay? It's a stainless steel, uh, it wouldn't rust, okay? So then it's used to make a knife, fork, spoons, eh? okay? And iron is cheaper than copper and aluminum and tin. So this one is cheaper, okay? So we use it because it's also because it's cheap. Eh? It's very hard, okay? It's cheap, okay? And then uh, because it's very hard, so it's used to make helmet spring. Uh, this characteristic will help you to uh, memorize uh, the uses. Aluminium base alloy. Okay, aluminium base is because we use aluminium is, is because the density is very low and it's very light. Uh, Duralumines is used to make uh, aeroplane parts. Okay, aeroplane you need to be very light uh, for it to fly in the sky. Yeah? So it's very light. Uh, racing bicycle is very light. The tire rims of racing car, okay, racing car. So we need to, to we want to make it to become light so that it can move faster. Uh, the skeletal bodies of aeroplane, okay, aeroplane again, it must be very light. So you see, aluminum bases, uh, alloy, they are very light. Uh. Tin base, tin base, uh, tin because it's shiny, okay, it's shiny, it has shiny surface and it has low melting point. Low melting point means it can melt easily and therefore it's used to. Uh, make solder in welding and soldering. Huh? So you see, first um, you need to know the components. Okay, the components of the alloy. I divide it into four types: huh? copper base, iron base, aluminium base, and tin base. Huh? Okay, this is easier for you to remember. In your book, uh, they mix up all together. Okay, but in my notes, I, I separate into four groups. Uh, that's easier for you to remember. And then so I give you the general or the common characteristics of each alloy each types of alloy that's easy for you to remember the users so you need to remember the component and the users uh, for all this alloy okay the users is less important compared to the component the component is the most important things uh, that you need to remember okay copper based alloy uh, we have this uh, cupel nickels uh, inside this cupro nickels, there are copper and nickel, so it's very easy to re remember, right? Cupro nickels, uh, copper and nickels, and uh, usually is to make coin. And then uh, brass, okay, brass. Uh, we have copper and zinc, yeah, copper and zinc, and then it's used in what? It's used, uh, okay, it's used to make bell, okay, bell, uh, musical instruments, okay, nail and screw. And uh, this uh, decorative items, okay, and uh, it was also used to make pots, okay. pots uh, for brass. So decorative items, electrical appliances, musical instruments, bell, nail, screw, pots, uh, bell, musical instruments, nail, decorative items, pots. Uh. Bronze, bronze is uh, copper and tin. 
okay copper and tin is used to make artwork okay artwork decorative items pots okay pots or pans okay is used to make uh, metals uh, metals and also key uh, okay it's also used to make key okay so that's for uh, copper based alloy uh. okay iron based alloy iron based alloy first we have steel okay steel is very hard very strong so it's used to make bridges building okay so inside all this building there is uh, there are steel bar steel bar inside yeah? so steel uh, is used in uh, buildings and then uh, the bodies of the car the bodies of the car is made up of the steel and also the body of the ship is uh, made out of steel as well so that is for steel then we have manganese steel manganese steel we have iron and uh, manganese and carbon steel we have iron and carbon eh? iron and carbon and for manganese steel we have iron and carbon and manganese eh? manganese and then it's used to make helmet and spring yeah helmet and spring and then uh, we have uh, stainless steel okay stainless steel we have uh, again we have iron and carbon that is for steel okay and then we have chromium and nickel yeah chromium and nickel in stainless steel uh, is used uh, for this uh, kitchens in uh, appliances okay kitchen appliances watches okay inside the watches uh, all these the component uh, the, the, the part uh, the part of the watches is made up of uh, stainless steel knife fork spoons eh? okay and also the part of a machine uh, this is the part of a machine eh? aluminium based alloy okay aluminium based alloy we have duralumin it's aluminium copper and uh, magnesium eh? okay it's used as the part of the aeroplane eh? part of the aeroplane and uh, electric cables uh, which th there's no picture here okay and a uh, racing bicycle eh? racing bicycles uh, we try to make it as light as possible so that's why we use aluminium eh? okay aluminium so that is for duralumin eh? to make the aeroplane parts and the uh, racing bicycle and uh, electric cables and then magnesium magnesium uh, I think I think from the name you should know that it's magnesium and aluminium eh? magnesium and aluminium is used to make the skeletal bodies of the aeroplane eh? okay the skeletal bodies and also the rim okay the rim of a uh, racing car okay racing car uh, this is not racing car okay but some of those are very expensive cars they also use this magnesium eh? to make the rim eh? okay that's aluminium based alloy last one is tin based alloy okay tin based alloys uh, is shiny low melting point for example pewter pewter we have a uh, tint this uh, antimony and uh, copper okay so it's used to make a uh, decorative items and souvenir okay like this it's very beautiful and then uh, it's and then uh, also solder okay solder tin based alloy we have a uh, tin and uh, lead okay so it's used in welding and uh, soldering okay welding and soldering because it has low melting point eh? okay low melting point so that's that's why it's used in welding and soldering okay so that is um, the uses of alloy